Hello everyone. This is Rida Naz and today we will solve exercise of chapter 15 homeostasis. Kindly subscribe this channel and make sure to press the bell icon so you can get notifications of all upcoming videos for free. Let's start solving exercise. Part B. Short questions. Question number 1. Maintaining the body at fairly constant level ensure healthy living. Justify the statement by giving appropriate example. Answer. Maintaining a relatively constant internal environment, known as homeostasis, is crucial for healthy living. For instance, regulating body temperature around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, 37 degrees Celsius, helps enzymes function optimally, supporting metabolic processes. Fluctuations in temperature, like during a fever, can disrupt these processes and lead to health issues. Question number 2. In what way positive feedback can be beneficial? Answer. Positive feedback. Positive feedback involves a change in some variable that triggers mechanisms that amplify rather than reverse the change. Positive feedback brings childbirth to completion, a very different sort of process from maintaining a physiological steady state. Question number 3. Define the term anhydrobiosis. Answer. Anhydrobiosis. Anhydrobiosis is a biological phenomenon in which certain organisms, such as some types of microscopic animals and plants, enter a state of extreme dehydration as a survival strategy. During anhydrobiosis, these organisms lose almost all of their water content, effectively suspending their metabolic activity. This allows them to endure harsh environmental conditions, such as extreme heat or drought, and then revive when water becomes available again. Question number 4. How regulation of blood flow to skin is meaningful to maintain body temperature? Answer. The regulation of blood flow to the skin plays a crucial role in maintaining body temperature. When the body gets too hot, blood vessels near the skin dilate, allowing excess heat to be released. In colder conditions, these vessels constrict, preserving heat. This process helps the body maintain a stable temperature, preventing overheating or excessive cooling. Question number 5. Why juxtamedullary nephrons are more important in osmoregulation? Answer. Juxtamedullary nephrons are more important in osmoregulation due to their unique location and structure. These nephrons have longer loops of henle that extend deep into the medulla of the kidney. This enables them to create a concentration gradient within the medulla, allowing for efficient reabsorption of water and electrolytes. This concentration gradient is crucial for producing concentrated urine and conserving water, which is essential for maintaining body fluid balance and osmotic regulation. Question number 6. State the role of ADH in controlling the proper concentration of urine. Answer. ADH, antidiuretic hormone also known as vasopressin, controls urine concentration by regulating the permeability of the collecting ducts, allowing for increased water reabsorption when the body needs to conserve water, and decreased reabsorption when excess water needs to be eliminated. Question number 7. How do some terrestrial mammals become so resistant that they are able to survive without drinking water? Answer. Terrestrial mammals survive without drinking water by evolving efficient metabolic processes, concentrated urine production, minimal sweating, effective kidney function, obtaining water from their diet, and adapting behaviors to minimize water loss. These adaptations collectively enable them to thrive in water-scarce environments. Question number 8. What is the benefit of extracorporeal shock wave lithotripsy, ESWL? Overpercutaneous nephrolithotripsy, PCNL. Dot. Answer. Extracorporeal shock wave lithotripsy, ESWL, offers a non invasive approach to treating kidney stones using external shock waves to break them. It has minimal recovery time, doesn't require incisions, and is suitable for smaller stones. In contrast, percutaneous nephrolithotripsy, PCNL, is better for larger stones involving a small incision and direct stone removal. ESWL's benefits lie in its simplicity, quick recovery, and effectiveness for smaller stones. Question number 9. 
Why is the excretion of uric acid advantageous to birds and reptiles? Answer. The excretion of uric acid is advantageous to birds and reptiles because it conserves water, which is important in their often arid environments. Uric acid is insoluble and can be excreted with minimal water loss, enabling these animals to efficiently manage water resources. That's all for today. Thanks for watching this video. If you find this video helpful then subscribe this channel and share this video with your friends. If you want video on any topic then leave a comment in comment section. I will make video on that topic. Take great care of yourself. Good luck.